Hello, I'm Callie of I Got Body, and I am about to show you the wake up call workout. This is a simple workout. Um, beginners can do it, anybody can do it and get a good sweat in. Uh, I usually do it when uh, my gym's closed. It's Sunday, so my gym is closed, and I need to get my workout in no matter what because we make it happen. We don't make excuses over here. But uh, this can be done before you go to work or whatever you do, go to school or to work during the day. Wake up about 20 or 30 minutes before. Uh, you need to get ready to get your workout in. It can also be done when you're traveling. You don't need equipment. A jump rope would help um, if you have one, and of course a chair or some kind of stable platform. Um, but other than that, that's it. You just bring your body and bring yourself, and that's that. All right, let's get into it. First, we're going into a plank for 30 seconds, so hit your timer. Place your hands underneath your chest, or you can drop down to your elbows, whatever you can handle right now. Make sure everything is in one line from your head down to your feet. Squeeze those abs super tight. Shoulders are pinched back. Abs are tight as always. Squeeze the booty, squeeze the thighs, and hold. All right, next up, we're going into 15 reps of push-ups, so let's get it. Place those hands out to your sides. You can either go from full push-up position, or if you are still building your strength to go to a full push-up, then you can go to your knees. And lower your body down to the floor. Once your elbows reach to about a 90 degree angle, you're going to push up and away and repeat for 15 reps. Place those hands behind the ears for back extensions up next. We have 15 of these. Shoulders are back. Back is nice and strong. Squeeze up and down, lifting the chest up off the floor. Making sure those back muscles are working. Hold for a moment at the top. Now we're going into my favorites, mountain climbers. Go into plank position. Keep everything straight back flat and run those knees into the chest until the 30 seconds are over. Circuit two, how low can you go? We have 20 squats up next. Push your booty and hips back and down. Make sure to keep that weight in the heels. Do not lift those heels up off the floor. Squeeze your butt and your thighs at the top and go as low as you can in that squat to make sure that those thigh muscles and those glutes are getting all the work that they can get. Stepping into alternating lunges. We have 15 of these on each leg. Make sure your shoulders are pulled back, abs are nice and tight so your back is straight. Step forward and bend down, making sure you keep your weight in your heels. Do not lift that front heel off the floor when you are stepping into that lunge and alternate from right leg to left leg for 15 reps once on each. Now we're going into everybody's favorite move, crawl ins and crawl outs. You are going to go from standing position, bend at your hips, place your hands on the floor and walk your hands forward until you are into a plank position. Then you're gonna pause for one moment and walk those hands back for one whole rep. You have 10 reps of these. Time to blast that arm jiggle with some tricep dips. We have 15 of these. Grab a chair, bench, or stable platform. Have a seat on it, place your hands next to your hips. Walk your booty off the edge. Drop your weight towards the floor and then push your weight back up with the back of your arms. Next up, we have 30 seconds of either high knees or a jump rope if you have one. Doing high knees like I am doing here. Bring those knees up, past the belly button to make it count, and get moving. Circuit three up next, let's get it. Lay on your back, legs straight up in the air, or you can bend at your knees if you cannot straighten your legs, and reach up towards those toes. 15 reps of these. Reverse crunches, we have another 15 reps. Lay on your back. You can either straighten out your legs or you can bend your knees, and I will show you that in a second. Crunch your abs and your hips up towards your chest and do that for 15 reps, as I mentioned. Up next, we have 15 Russian twists from side to side. Sit on your booty, lean back slightly and lift that chest up. Form a V-shape with your torso and your legs and get to twisting. You can use no weight, a kettlebell, a weight plate, dumbbell, whatever you have. Start off light if this is your first time. Keep your feet flat on the floor or lift them in the air for more of a challenge. Set those timers for 30 seconds for jumping jacks. Go all out like you see me doing here. Throw those arms up and out. Hop those legs in and out. Work for it and you are done. So tweet me at Cali Got Body whenever you do the wake up call workout. And tag I Got Body whenever you are working out, eating clean, and doing something to get you closer to our first fitness goal. Showing off our progress in summer 2013. You got this. Make it happen. No excuses.